We are live, just so you know. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, this is Gabby and Duncan with SKS Games. Uh, we realized that our first floor tutorial of Luigi's Mansion did not record so we could actually post it. So we are going to redo this and do the second floor today. So hope you all enjoy. Um, this is one of my favorite Nintendo games of all time. It's just a wonderful game. So we're going to get started on this and soon an orange ghost is going to hand me a key. Okay, deuces. Good luck, Mario. <laughs> you will forever be in King Boo's gallery. Rip, Mario. So how was your day? I had a very long day. Uh, I'd rather talk, not talk about it on stream. Cool. You feel? Yeah, I do. Hmm. Just trying to keep the conversation going. Because he's cute and energetic, <laughs> and he's not annoying like Toad. This is fair. Toad is insanely annoying. I hate Toad. Who's your least favorite character aside Toad. from Toad? Yoshi. Yoshi? Why? Yo I hate Yoshi too. Why Yoshi's hate annoying. Yoshi? I also really hate playing against him in Smash. His kit just makes me angry. What is a kit? His moveset. What's a young fella like you doing around here, anywho? Oh, I love how everyone like, views Mario and Luigi kind of as like boys, but you know, they're 34 year old men with mustaches. I think Mario is canonically 25 years old. Really? Mm -hmm. Let's Google it. That's. Man, I hope. Oh. That's so weird. Okay, so your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Hmm, where is this, you ask? Why are these cozy quarters are where I do my ghost studying? Professor Egad's ghost research laboratory and lab. If you're of a shortening mind, you won this mansion of contest you didn't even enter? Sounds pretty fishy. So you believe the mansion actually exists then? Strange. I've been living here since I was a lad like 20 or so, and I'll tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream, an illusion, or what at all, but I surely wouldn't be too happy winning in a haunted house. You know, I think that's a valid point. I wouldn't be either. That'd make me pretty upset too. Now that I get a look at you, I just recalled a guy with a red hat kind of like yours went up to the mansion without even stopping to chat and he never returned. Was he a dream too? No, that's his stupid brother. That guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. You wouldn't stand a chance against the ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. Here's the plan. I'll teach you to deal with ghosts so you can rescue your brother. Okay, for those of you that have never played this game it's very simple the only thing you're really going to be using throughout the entire game is joystick b a and uh right right trigger right trigger okay i thought that was <laughs> and the entire key to this game is backing ghosts into a corner and just staying in the corner as long as you can because if you can do that there's just some way with the way the mechanics are and the way the game is built they can't really do anything even though like dark mushrooms kind of bounce off the walls and don't really hit you so i'm, I'm aware you're aware of how this game yes, works yes i am i can't even begin to explain how many times I have done this part of this game because I have replayed this game so many times. But that's because it is a fantastic game. Oh, wow. 
not off to a good start. I know Toto Toto. That's all I know. Say that again. Choto Choto. No, he does Suko Suko too. Oh yeah, but he also does Choto Choto. Wait, wait. I don't remember what Suko Suko is. Crazy doctor thing pretty well. Someone should cosplay you, Gad. time I'm in the training room the second I get the mansion like here we go we're good it's a good thing that the tutorial doesn't matter at all yep it does not it's just it's odd that I can't do it I'm just gonna do this because I always do it so for those of you who don't know as you beat bosses they're going to turn into paintings in the gallery and you can come look at them and it's actually really cool because it is the most beautiful part of this game the way they did the graphics on the paintings the paintings are very pretty but uh, i want to go back to the lab but yeah there's really nothing to see in here if you haven't played it this is mostly for nostalgia purposes so i'm sure whoever is watching this has probably played this game before Unless we need to introduce some five, six year olds into the world of Luigi's Mansion and they have access to a Twitch stream, which, you know. I think cool. a lot of them do. That's so crazy to me. We were five and six, we didn't even, like, what, we had a Game Boy and the old Sega? Yeah. Thing. <laughs> Playing Alex the Wonder Kid. Alex the Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy? Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy. I was wrong. <laughs> And the, do you remember the Olympic game? Well, on there's the Sega? there's Wonder Boy on the Sega Master System, and then there's Alex the Kid. I think we have both. We did have both. We did have both. My and favorite is the Olympics game, though. That game was a lot of fun. Trying to do the hacky sack thing was awful, though. Not a fan. I, do, I don't think most of the games were very intuitive, to be honest, but they were fun. Yeah. But it's like, if you were good at those games, this is nothing, because it's like, oh, these mechanics actually make sense. True. It's beautiful. The man, the days of old janky video games. Oh. Okay, game saved. So, we're gonna get through the first floor, which probably can get through in, what, 30 minutes tops? Yeah, it's pretty easy actually probably being very generous with that estimate. That's an instance where the game is not using words to help you find stuff because the gold was pointing to that base. Have you mm. tried vacuuming up that base? No. No. Let me, let me check it out. I just knocked it. It's teaching you that there's stuff in there. But I guess there was no gold. No. There's usually nothing in these bases. I think that was more of just here's some money to feel nice. So I'm gonna suck these coins up. And then I'm going to blow up the candles and make the paintings very angry and orange ghosts are going to attack. Get the money before the cutscene, yep. now it's gonna go away. Yeah, I messed up. That was my bad. Jeez. See, this is why I don't like old antique paintings. I think this game actually did scar me from them. Every time I see old antique paintings, my I just don't like photorealistic paintings. They stare at you. That's why I hate that portrait of dad so much. <laughs> it's scary, it's always watching. It's in the freaking living room. Like, mom did a great job at but at the same time, it's like, why? Why did you have to hang it in the living room? Just 
dared into my second <laughs> time I did something I wasn't supposed to do as a teenager. Not that I was, you know, anything close to that wild teenager except staying 30 minutes out past curfew. But we really were not given opportunities at all to be wild for the most part. Not really. My parents watched us. Probably for the best though. Yay! That was painfully easy. It is the first Mario. level after all. Oh yeah. Thing. I love like the tracks in this game. Like this still to mm. me, I don't know. This still to me has like the best soundtrack out of all the games. I love it. It's technically only like three songs though. I know, but they're all great. And even the even when you open the chest, just the track for okay. it does feel rewarding. Mm -hmm. They do a good job of making you feel like so what is your favorite ghost? Um, I like the pink guys. Why? My favorites are the shy guys, just for the way they look, I hate dealing with them. No! I'm ugly, you cannot see my face, no one will ever try to get me without my mask. My shy guy friends will disown me. Sorry guys, heads up right now, I am an absolute completionist, and I have no shame at it at all, so I'm going to teach you how to get the best mansion at the end of the game. Because that's what I'm about, and it's going to involve watering a lot of plants and catching- I'm trying. <laughs> it didn't really want to love me. No. I don't like you, no. I'm really right by the door. Okay. But yeah, it involves watering a lot of plants and dealing with a lot of booze. Okay, in this closet there is a blue honey ghost. I'm gonna show you how to get it once this is cleared. Yeah, there's special ghosts throughout this game, but if you're able to catch them, you get like twice as many. It's awesome. Last playthrough, I was able to do it, so. Let's hope the strategy I figured out works again this time, and if it does, it's proven science, right? right. See, even the bananas can't get you in the corner. It's, this is the beauty of Luigi's Mansion. As long as you do this, you're totally fine. The only time it does- Why? Because you sucked. <laughs> So we're going to have to put the banana under you. No, it's not. Okay, no. See, to me, he's the most annoying. I absolutely hate the banana ghost. Okay, I'm just going to see if we're good. Because I know there's an orange ghost in here. Actually, uh, no, I want to get this one first. So I'm just gonna give it like five seconds. Okay, yeah, we're done. Okay. So what you do is there is this reaction that a lot of people have to the blue money ghost that you kinda like open the closet, then quickly back up to prepare yourself. And it's a lot easier to just open the closet as such and do that. There's a lot of money. So anytime you know there's a special ghost. Like, don't ever back up when you open something in this game. Just let your flashlight go off, and chances are you will catch it. As demonstrated again, let's see if I can do this. Yeah. Okay. Nice. That took me, what, almost 15 years to figure out? <laughs> Pretty much. I don't even know when the game came out. Was it like 2007? 
I don't remember. I know this was the first game we ever got on GameCube. And Double Dash. And Double Dash. Wait, which, what is Double Dash? I don't remember. Was that Mario, Mario, Mario Kart? Okay, yeah. that's what I... That's what I was thinking, because that's what was in my head, was we had Mario Kart, which was a bomb on the GameCube. I just want them to make another Mario Kart, where you have two drivers on one car. That was my favorite mechanic about that one. Did you go outside and talk to the toad? Oh my gosh. I kind of have to do that. For yeah, you you're totally right. I kind of screwed up there. The thing I liked about Mario Kart was being able to make weird pairs. Like what? I always did mm. Waluigi and Baby Luigi. Okay, <laughs> and as I said, a lot of plants are gonna come back and water these later and they will give us lots of money. Mm. I actually don't remember that. Yep. Mom poisoned me, I will forever be a completionist if there's money to get. Yeah. I just remember the one plant in the doghouse area. Yep, that you have to water like after every boss for the rest of the game to get the boo diamond. Mm. Sorry. I detect spirits stronger than we've yet seen lurking ahead. I think it must be some of those escaped gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When you find one, you should first use the X button to search its heart for clues. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise them. Well, Luigi, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. So, you're never going to have to use the X button, because I'm going to tell you how to beat all the ghosts right now, so you don't have to guess a ton. Easy. Yep. Very easy. I still love how realistic that they made that he's always mm -hmm. scared, no matter what. I'm surprised they made realistic they made everything like, just like that cutscene. I mean, it's... This sh game's a little bit far ahead of its time, I think. The GameCube did a lot. Okay, really quick, so you're about to uh, essentially mess up a nice dad after a long day of work while he's yawning and reading a book. No, it's, this game kind of always makes me feel a little bad when I do this part. Because I really feel bad about messing up this family. Except Chansey. I, I don't feel bad for Chansey. That's my revenge every time someone brings a three year old on an airplane. Yep. And I'm sorry if that sounds heartless, but just. Every red eye flight, man, oh, there's yeah. at least one kid under three. And it's not a good time for anyone. So yeah, for those of you that didn't get that, um, what you do with the dead is he yawns while he's reading his book, and the second he yawns, it shows his heart, and you just do the thing. And then one thing that is really important on this game, actually, and it's something everyone does need to be aware of, is there are fake doors, and if you open them, they will hurt you and cost you money, so that's a fake door. That's a fake door. This one's real, and how you tell is you press the Y button, and it'll show you a map, but if there's not an actual door on there, it's not real. Very you text mom and see what she wants. Yeah. Okay, then we have the wife of the ghost that we just sucked in the vacuum. She's very pretty, very nice. She's probably getting ready to bed while her husband was cooling down. We're gonna have a great evening together. We're gonna have that also. Moral of the story is walking into anyone's home and trying to steal their home is not good, even if they're ghosts. If they're just trying to live their ghosts. Oh! That is the first time that has happened in a very long time. I love how she just pretends nothing happened. Goes back to doing her hair. I'd be out. Me too. I'd be good. 
Huh? Like, same with the Dazzle, too. Just goes back to reading his book, like, oh, I just almost died. It's okay. Not a problem at all. No. Demon mushrooms. Come on, please. I shouldn't call her, we're streaming. Okay, text her and tell her. I did. Chill. Okay, and here is the most annoying mm -hmm. boss of the game. I still think Goop Guy's more annoying. Nope. I think this boss is super duper easy. No, he's easy. He's just... Check that. He's just insanely annoying to me. But he is a good starter boss. So now, after you have sucked in the dad and the mom, you are now going to ruin the child's name as well. And you start that by rocking the rocking horse. Hence the gold coins laying around it. The game is trying to tell you what to do. Did I not do that long enough? No, no, I didn't. Okay. I don't really have a choice, do I? Okay, then you grab the ball, maybe, if I can, and then you're gonna get the baby. This is not a video game that offers good parenting skills. Owie! You keep me an owie! I just wanted to play with you. I hate grown-ups. Why do you have to be bigger than me? I've had enough. Small, now grow smaller. Small, itchy, chinky, little, wee, ga, ga, goo, goo, ga. Well spoken. Yeah. <laughs> I want it to be my eulogy at my funeral. Teeny, tiny, goo, goo, ga, ga. Yep. Just that's it. If I die, just do that walk off the stage. I'll be looking down from heaven proud of you. Love screaming children. Yes, absolutely. Uh, mm, uh, it's sarcasm. The sound that ruins date nights. <laughs> uh, every every Saturday. I don't know why I screwed that up. So with the rocking horses, you just move towards them, and then you pretty much have to run around in a circle to not get hit by the balls. One of them's going to stop and stay, and then you're going to yet again hit Chansey in the face with it. Like the other ghosts in this game, most of the bosses have a threshold in which they will automatically break no matter what, because Nintendo likes to have three phases of things. If yep. you guys haven't seen that yet. But yeah, the boss has three faces no matter what. I think most of the bosses do have at least three. Yeah. Except for the bosses, because it just goes till you do it. But they didn't need three phases, because that just takes forever. And then it's the double horse, and I'm just gonna stay right up. Oh. Why? You gotta hold in the opposite direction. Also, what the heck? I've never seen this happen before. 
What do you mean? Just with a boss, just completely stand on the road. Just like backs him into a corner. Hmm. Like that's. No, it's that's. I, you're playing the opposite way. Remember, you're in the corner, right? Yeah, normally, but I guess yeah. I figured out a new strategy for Chansey. You back him in the corner. Well, it's happened twice now. So we learned something new today. You can back Chansey into that corner and you're totally good. Okay, more rock horses. I love how, like, oddly dangerous kids' toys were at some point. Like, we learned how dangerous rocking horses are. Go me. So there was this one time where we were visiting family members and they had like this old timey wood rocking horse. It actually looks pretty much like the one here. And I got on it and started going ham on this rocking horse. All of a sudden the head flew off and hit him in the face. It hit me in the back of the head. Might as well have been the face. I'm sure it would have hurt just as bad either yeah. way. Well, at least I didn't have to get stitches on my face and like Mario. the back of my head. Mario, come on, stop! That's still weird to me though that Dad forgot you had to get stitches for that. He does not remember. At yeah, all. that's so weird. Cause like I remember driving an hour out to the hospital. Well, and I, I remember feeling bad because you had to go get stitches, and I'm like, wow, I'm a terrible person. Uh, but something to point out, this chest here will always, always have a large heart in it. There's one more heart like this in the safari room once you get to level three, and it's in a leopard chest. But mm. if you're ever really low on life, um, I'm going to show you a mirror trick that'll bring you right to the foyer, so it brings you to the beginning of the game. You can walk up the stairs and get the heart if you really yeah. need one. You can show him the mirror trick right now and just go into the room. Yeah, but Egad's gonna make me go back to the lab right now. Alright. Alright. Luigi. Can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I lost contact with you all of a sudden. I was a tad worried. Hmm, you seem to be a bit tuckered out after that long battle, don't you? Why don't you come back to the lab? When you vacuum a boss ghost, your poltergust 300 gets pretty much full of boosting. But ho ho, I guess you showed that boss ghost who's boss. Dang straight, I did. This is the, my favorite part of the entire game. I thought this was just so creative, and I love the paintings. And I love how excited Egad gets. Neville. I was way off. The chancy. The literal worst. This this really is the only way you could convince me to do this though. Like if you were like, go catch ghosts and we'll give you a mill for 30 minutes, like, yeah. Just walked away with four million dollars. That'd be nice. You ended with less than you did on your last save. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I guess I'm gonna go back and figure that out after we get through mm. some floor two. But right now we got boobs to worry about. <laughs> we sure do. I love how it's just like, goodbye, you might die. See you later, son. Probably should say it. Huh? I said, see you later, gamer. Wait, this is what I need to do, I forgot. So I went 
went over to Kenzie's last night and we were watching Crocs New Groove. I mean, not Crocs New Groove, the Emperor's New Groove. I'm watching Settlers of Catan. And my back was to the TV, but they were having the dinner scene with Cusco, and I started hearing. Ear, 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 and I looked at him and said, I don't even know what's. I'm not even watching the screen right now, and I know exactly what's going on. And I dropped my cards, and just perfectly in time with the movie, I went. Yeah. They all started cracking up because once I've seen a Disney movie, I can basically recite it from heart, which is a little concerning and probably is not the best use of my time. I'm pretty sure it's the ballroom first. Uh, it's the top left, it's the washroom. Oh, yeah. Cusco is poison. Poison. Cusco. <laughs> poison meant specifically for Cusco. <laughs> He's supposed to be dead! I, I love that. I really don't understand why Disney hasn't capitalized in making Yzma's lab a ride. True. That would be a good ride. Like, just if it starts out, run, oh, run, What press did the I pause do? Button. What did I do? What are you doing? I'm you pressed every button you had. Okay, tip for the game, don't do what I just did. Sorry, I really hate these ghosts. Good tip for video games. If you want to be good at them, don't mash buttons. Unless you're playing Mortal Kombat. No, don't mash buttons. That's actually terrible advice. Now it's the bar. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. So I am just going to show you guys this trick really quick, even though it's somewhat annoying. So X button. If you point it at a mirror, it will start rotating the screen. And, and, and you do have to press the A button. Wow. So you have to search. So if you're back up there, and if you need to go get the heart, it's right up the stairs. You're back at the mirror. And this game's pretty, the map's pretty condensed, so it's decently easy to get back to wherever you were. Especially once you have all the keys unlocked. I love that base. Nintendo always does a great job with their scores. That's just reality. I absolutely Whoa. hate this one. Okay, so shy guys, adorable, wonderful little animated creatures, complete pain in the butt to deal with. So for those of you that don't didn't get that, you gotta suck their masks off. Oh, that one showed his little face. Showed his little yellow ghost eyes. That was pretty freaking cute. I love their little language too. It's kind of the best. Wow. So it's like, did I really just screw that up that hard? Wrong with me. Okay, then just ah. Just so you know, if they're closer to the light, the longer they're stuck. So like when you have two of them there, you can reposition yourself so they're both close to the light. Because yeah, if they're like straight in line, the one behind it's just gonna disappear immediately. That would be wise. I, I forgot how to get him to show their hearts. I'm pretty sure you just don't look at them. Yeah, I think you're right. And they go, ho! Oh! Yeah, you gotta not look at them. Stop adjusting yourself. You keep looking at him. No, it's because I just... Uh, okay, that wasn't even intentional. Well, you know where they are, just don't look at him. Oh! Oh! Ha! I'm gonna get him in one go. I refuse to spend time on this one. This is like my least favorite of all the boss battles. Your money. Oh, that mushroom was really close. 
goes to... I know. But it ain't got nothing on me. Because I am Gabby Saunders. Master of Blue Expansion. But Dark Moon is oh, awful yeah. and I didn't finish it, so... I'm still like this. Not as good as this, though. I told you they're remaking it for the 3DS, right? Hmm. This one? Yes, but the reason I like this one is the mechanics and the nostalgia. You know it's gonna be exactly the same, right? It's gonna be better graphics. But these are already so good. Yeah, but they're just gonna make this, but HD, pretty much. Okay. But is that just a remake. for me to have access to HD Luigi's Mansion? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's only so much you can do with the game. How did I... No. I'm not happy with myself right now. So are they basically doing what Disney's doing and just making remakes of everything? I mean, yeah. It sells. It definitely sells. No. 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 Weep. I like those guys because... Oh, crap. I How the... Oh, no. I didn't even know there was one in there. I didn't either! That's like brand new news to me. That, I'm not happy with. How did I even knock into that? Like that, that was just, that wasn't cool. Not cool, Nintendo. We're done? We're done, okay. So, as most of you can probably see, there is a button right there in the mirror. So you just turn around and you press this button mm -hmm. and then you unleash white fluffy not things. Not yet, not yet. You have to press one more button. Oh, that's right. And then we're gonna start getting booze, which drives Duncan crazy, so I apologize. It's cause they're annoying. But it needs to be done! They'll just move between rooms over and over and over again, and once you get to the ones with like 300 health, you're just moving between rooms over and over and over again. And sometimes they go downstairs, and sometimes they go upstairs, so sometimes you gotta take the stairs. And then not say it was easier that I enjoyed it, it's just a compulsive thing for me to just do it. Mario! Where's the other button? Oh yeah, I gotta suck this off. That gives you a lever. Probably should suck something off that says danger do this. But that's this is the thing I don't get. Is that if this mansion is brand new, why were they trapped? Yeah. Oh no, it's Luigi. Look guys, he's finally here. We're gonna do what we did to your brother. Let's on his back. He guys pulled me down to 300. Everybody spray. I love how King oh. Boo is like a mob boss, basically. It's beautiful. Yeah. Luigi, are you okay? That was them. Those were the ones who released all the ghosts from the paintings in my gallery. Those fiends. I wondered where King Boo and his gang had gone, so they were hiding in the mansion all along. Thanks for flushing them out, Luigi. I'm tickled you found them, but perhaps it would have been better if you hadn't. Well, every single one escaped. Just a thought. Oh well, water under the bridge. Anyway, you should probably come back to lab for a sec. But why were they trapped? Like, they built the mansion. You think they'd just be hanging out with everyone else? Well, like... I think it's clear that the mansion isn't theirs. Because they were released from Egad's paintings and they just took over the mansion. No, remember, it's he, earlier in the game he says this mansion was just here for the first time. Yeah. It's only been here for a few days and it was after the gallery ghosts were released, which was the booze dealing. So yeah. why are the, like, were the gallery ghosts like, oh, sorry for helping us, we're just gonna lock you away again? I think that Maybe. doesn't... It could have happened, I don't know. Who cares, it's Nintendo lore. There's probably holes everywhere. Yeah, it's fun. I guess you're right. Okay, so basically, we're gonna start sucking up a bunch of booze. You've now got the boo radar. I do. Although, something important to know. The boo radar doesn't exactly find boos, it just finds things that are round. Including bombs. And... Balloons. Balloons. Just so you know. 
So that that's the only case in a boo with the scenario when you're looking for something is if it is the boo radar going off the backup because it very well could be a bomb. True. And I'm gonna get the level one, the floor one go boos here shortly. I just want to get this. Required. Yeah, you have to get 15 of them, I think. I do. Or like 10. I don't know. I I it's. But you need you know to get what? a certain it might even before be you can 20. progress further. I, I don't think it's 20. Out. We haven't even been in 20 rooms. Oh yeah, you're right. That is true. Crap, 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 crap. It's the uh, air on the right. Mario! Come yeah. on! Bomb. Yep. And sometimes they switch positions, which is... Where else? In oh, that is a heart, though. I would like that. Yeah. That would be nice. Can you be in the painting? Um... I think it's just knock on everything. I don't understand what's going on right now. What? Mario! Like, where yeah. else could he be oh, yeah. in this room? He's in one of the other rooms. Yeah. Okay. There we go! Ooh, la la. Yeah, he spawned right where you're standing. No, 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 no! No, 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 no. See, they'll go through walls and it's so annoying. I wish instead of like moving between rooms, they just like attack you or something. I. Mm, that's debatable. That's what I would prefer. For uh -huh. sure. Moving between rooms is just so time consuming because there's a cutscene for everything. Should they just throw the bombs at you then? Yeah, sure. Okay. It's better than them moving between rooms. You just like don't you just don't putting the effort into collecting. No, I just think just think the fact that they can move between rooms is bogus because oh! it wastes so much time. Oh yeah. Gotta direct your. I know, I'm really bad at it. Why? I, I can't even you. get in there. Please tell mm -hmm. me that's the freaking it's hallway. It's the hallway. But, like, see exactly what I mean. Now you gotta leave all the way from the room and you gotta go all the way back out into the hallway. Okay, I admit this was not their best way to do this in the game. I don't know. Now, he's now I can't get. Yeah, see? Wonderful. I hate booze. Okay, well, let's go get the bathroom, boo. No, oh, poor butler. Your life's going to be over here shortly. Well, not over, just mm -hmm. permanently stuck in the painting. Oh, is there not one in here? Mm -hmm. Odd, okay. You'll have to go upstairs. Wait, why don't I just... Uh, You'll have to go upstairs. Do this. Oh, I was like, please tell me I didn't just do that again. Okay, up here we go. We'll get some more boobs. Maybe it's just five boobs. I feel like that would make sense. Come on. Where are ya? Don't be a bomb, don't be a bomb, don't be a bomb. Damn boobs. Oh. Gabby. I know, I'm really bad with the joystick thing. I get it. You were not. facing the complete other direction. It's not my strong suit. Just, Just don't start vacuuming until you're facing the boo, because you're going to stay in the same, facing the same direction if you're holding R. Yeah, you're probably right. It's probably a good strategy that I should have listened to. Mario! Oh, oh yeah. Come on, I tapped that. You weren't even close really? to it. That's probably why. I, uh, oh yeah, that's why I didn't get that much the first time. I didn't open all the freaking drawers. Mario. Okay, Don't take I, out your vacuum so soon. But that time I knew I was facing him. But that's what also puts you in the complete opposite direction of where he is. This is also true. I'll be better. But that time it was fine, because I was facing him. I, I technically took your advice, just not the way you wanted mm -hmm. to take it. Wait. Mm -hmm. 
It's probably Are just another bomb. I just want to make... Oh, that was What weird. the heck? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just really hot in this room, I guess. In this room? No, I mean, like... Oh, yeah. You know how when they are scanning for um, radiation, they'll say the meter's hot? Nope, I've just, never heard okay, that. Okay, well, they do. And She's I in the clothes. You can add to the action. Correct. There is. Oh, is there anything no. else to shake? That one. Oh! I... Oh, yeah, it's only five. Oh, wait, no, you're right. I need to jump the gun on that. He always calls me when I get a boo. At least it gives you another way to save. I mean, that's nice. There's not a boo right there. Yeah, you're right. I just wanted to double check. I might as well just, get, just let Toad know I'm still there. Not hey, say anything, but just be like, hey. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Still looking for Mario. I can't do that. No. Mario! Got new, n absolutely mm. no New Yorker Italian. We're like so painfully English and Swedish, mm. it's not even funny. We're Swedish? Yeah, we, we are. We're Scandin- mm. Well, according to Bob's thing, which could be completely different from ours, we're mostly Swedish, Scotch, Irish, uh, with some Middle mm. Eastern thrown in there. So we're basically white. Yeah. Mm. So I knew that. Yeah. That was not a shocker for me. Oh yeah. I think he's in the desk. No, I no, I'm searching for booze right now. Yeah. He's in the chair. chair. Oh. You're right, that's a lot better. No! <sighs> that's not even a room! Wait. Yeah, it is. It's the wife's room. Yeah, but there's just... Just yeah. because there's a fake door doesn't mean there's not a room next to it. Bomb. There's a bomb. Lovely. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Into the wife's room, and there will be two booze mm -hmm. in here. Eh, eh. Oh, come on. What? He's not just hanging out. Just been really nice. Well, you spent some time. Oh, yeah. I kind of would. See, this is the thing that annoys me about getting the booze is that he does call you every single time afterwards. That means at least 50 times he'll call you. <laughs> so here's my number. Call me, baby. Oh, yeah. Have you played the Luigi's Mansion arcade game yet? No, I didn't know there was an arcade game. Mm -hmm. That's pretty dope. It's at uh, Dave and Buster's. Mm. And like every time you suck something in, mm -hmm. there's like something that like Mario. clicks and pushes your uh, your vacuum back. Oh, that's cool. So there's like a haptic feedback thing. So it's like, it's I good. actually really like would like to go to Dave and Buster's. Chris and I ate there before the Panic oh, yeah. at the Disco concert because we got there and there was already like. 15,000 screaming girls outside, and we were like, uh, Ooh. you know, we're not gonna wait in line, so we just walked over to Dave and Buster's, and it was so good. Yeah, the food's actually pretty good. I, I didn't expect it from... It's one of the best steaks I've had in a long time, actually, which felt so weird saying that about Dave and Buster's, but... Yeah, that's not what I would guess at all. In their potatoes. <laughs> I, I had know I'm not cheese. supposed to eat their potatoes, but I did, and it was worth it. Nice. I can't yeah, wait to, like, either there will be a day where I don't have an autoimmune disease anymore, or I know my time is coming, and either way, like... You're just gonna down it. I am. Is it is it possible for your autoimmune disease to yeah, go away? Yeah, it can go on remission. Hmm. How does that happen? Um. Luck? Uh, proper treatment, medication, 
which, you know... That's expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pharmaceutical companies are not America's friend. We should just not let companies run things. No. That's my thought. Well, do you know what's just so mind-blowing to me about the entire situation? Mm. What? So, insulin in Canada is like 30 bucks a month. Depending on your insurance out here, it can be anywhere from 3 to $500 a month. Which is like, okay, you know, that's that's not something if you're diabetic you can just live without and kind of be okay. And there's not a lot of people that can afford that. No, I think that's a problem. No, it's a massive problem when you have a bunch of Americans hiking it out to Canada or Mexico. What? You gotta go to the washroom. Do I? Yeah. Ecad just told you. Oh, did he? I was not paying attention. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, that just was the washroom? Yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What, did like eight of him come searching? I guess. A lot of them did, apparently. Okay, so this one's bathroom toad. Yeah. There's a key in here. Yep. <laughs> who are we going for? Oh, crap. I don't know who that is. Hmm. You care if I play for a bit? Go for it. Thank you. But it's it's the fortune teller. Yeah, I'm aware. That is another thing about this game that does drive me crazy. I absolutely hate the hanging ghost and the one that's about to drop a bomb. Yep. Oh, not this time. That's cool. Hmm. Did you like how I did a 360 to open that door? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're about to get the fire element. You gotta shine the Nah, I don't have to. No, you're just gonna okay. That's cool. Oh, good for you. You get all the choky ghosts. Why is it that they have to have the best coloring out of all of them though next to the shy guys? That's real though. I love that color. For those that don't know. <laughs> got one that's about to really mess you up, turn around, turn around. I know. Uh, I know what I'm doing. Okay, then. Nope, it's my light. light was straight up. Here, you got him. <laughs> And you are getting the booze, whether you like it or not. Okay. You're giving me the controller back. Yes, yes. Okay, so how you use the fire elements, everyone, is you hold the left trigger. So the right one. You can get them by sucking up fire. Bada bing, bada boom. It's both. You suck it up using the right trigger, and then you light things on fire by pressing the left trigger. And there's you need it throughout the game. Like it's probably one of the most important mechanics of the entire game. Just the elements. It's in the yeah. They just didn't want to come out this easy. <laughs> Why did you do that? It just happens. You should suck the chandeliers too. I want I also want my Yeah, because you need to go light the fortune tellers around on fire basically. Yeah, you don't want to do, do you? No, the chandeliers really are bad at that. There you yeah. Go. That one should have some money. No, nope. nope. It didn't. It already told you it didn't. Okay. It said no, thank you. You missed one. You <laughs> 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 probably.
probably should bother her though, just for the sake of everyone knowing what's going on. Okay. The way you uh, awaken her is you leave your flashlight on the crystal ball. For those that don't know. Hello. Her lips are so freaky. Who are you? Is that her scarf or her lips? I it's her tell. scarf. They awaken the vibrations of my spirit. I love her. Yeah, okay, so. Basically, her purpose is once you find Mario's items, you take them to her. And she'll help you. Oh. Okay. I think it was just a notification. Again. That was strange. That was really strange. Wait, our stream is frozen. We're frozen. It must have been the USB host. Hmm. Does that camera take a charge? I don't know. Well, and we may have to just go without video for now until that starts turning on or something. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I'm okay with that. That was so weird, though. Technical difficulties. Okay. Oh, okay. Hello. I really do hate the other side those though. I love them because they definitely serve their purpose. Let go, let go, let go. Gabby, don't tell me what to do. I'm older than me, so I earned that right. I think I have more experience with video games. I think like I've earned the right to do what I game want. I'm good at. I'm like really good at it for the most part. Oh yeah. I think I've earned the right to do whatever I want. Okay, then do you know the thing you need to do in this room? Are you sure it's this room, or are you sure you're not talking about the thing? That. I can speed run this game too. Yeah. It's my game. Just kidding. That's no. not what I meant to grab. It walked me all the way over there. Out of here. Mm, great. Ah. Okay, here we go. Problem solved. Careful, Ouija. Mm -hmm. Do I just leave? I'm pretty sure I just yeah, leave you and do. come back. You just have to go light. You, you have to light the candlesticks now. So you're gonna really ruin the day of the already very lovesick butler. He's in love with the pianist who the booze went into. There. Where is. Okay, there he is. Go. It's still beyond me that he's carrying around a candelabra and the second it's actually serving his purpose, he's like, no! <laughs> he is really creepy looking to me. He's one of the creepiest ghosts, actually. I feel bad for him. He just wants Melody to love him. A tragic story. Too bad he is like. Hey, sometimes, sometimes the nice guy wins. Mm. Only if he's hot. Mm. Uh, mm. There's some movies where that hasn't been the case. There's some real life scenarios where that hasn't been the case. <laughs> Oh, 
Rocket 8. Son. Mario. Oh yeah. I love that when you don't get them all the way, they bounce on the floor. Mm, the oh yeah. Mario. Oh yeah. We're one fifth of the way to the booth. And here's a secret. I forgot about that one. Ooh. There is a ton of money in here. It's enough money to pay off probably all the student loan debts at the University of Utah. <laughs> So, so everyone's aware there are elemental ghosts. That's where the elements come in. If they're ice type, you need to spray them with fire. Oh, and you, you know you can just kill them with the fire, right? Yeah, I forgot. But I'm just gonna respawn. I even heard the sound of his punch come out. Oh! Oh wait, after you cleared, I think it gives you... Yeah, it gives us another chest. I think it has some really solid gems. Oh, has at least one gem. I know, it's a crap ton of money though. Yeah, it has a ruby in it. No, it has a ruby, a sapphire, and a gold bar. And an emerald. Get those first, my dude. Because they're big. I know, but it kills the rest of the money, which is a little frustrating. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure it's Piano Girl next? Yes. Because after you steal the lover, you steal the love. Haha! That really wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. That's okay though. Is it water? I think it's water, right? Yeah. So on this boss, it plays Mario track. It plays Mario score from Mario Bros. And you have to tell her, like, if it's water, sky. Is it water themed or sky themed? Mm. Mm. Yeah. But first, you got to make all the instruments play the Mario theme. Spectral beauty of the Ivory Keys. Sure. She gets really upset if you get it wrong. This one's water. It's really 
really disappointing. Like, oh, you liked my Sonata? Well, now uh, I'm gonna mess you up. She didn't deserve the butler anyways. <laughs> I don't know why she's not, like, running away. <laughs> She was running into the door the whole time. No, seriously, like once you back them into something, they can't, like there's something about oh, the yeah. game mechanic where they're just like, oh, well, I give up. You've got me there. Go Fumio, oh, that was cute. These are the only puns I can stand. Oh, you got another one. Wait, was do. the one in the washroom booly yet? <laughs> that'd be I think funny. So. I just dig. I like Nintendo's puns on the booths. Oh yeah. Okay, Mario. What is that? Is that a saxophone? It's a really weird saxophone. Yeah. So Careful, Luigi. Mm. What's next? Oh, wait, I didn't even get the chest. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, he kind of needs the key first. Hello. Mario! Do you my, fa my favorite ghost in all of this, though? By oh. far. I love the grandma. Cracks me up. That one really scared me for some reason. I don't know oh. why, but she freaked me out. Oh, she's creepy. But it's, you still didn't get the chest, dude. No, yes, I did. Did you? Yeah. Do you, do you have a key? Yeah. Sorry, I just wanted to break it across this dash for her right here. Oh, is it kind of. Oh, thank you, I love this one. This is, like, as far as playing it, this is my favorite boss, but as far as, like, my favorite funny ghost, it's definitely the turn. <laughs> This one just cracks me up. It reminds me of me. I'm so not down with having my food. Well, I want to know if you want dinner. I do want dinner. Just currently not the position. Oh, I forgot. I have to. I have to hurt the little tiny nervous butlers. I always hate this. They were trying to do nothing, and their the big fat guy was already being so mean to them. Sorry, guys. In order to beat this boss, I need to ruin your day. It's not your fault. Uh, I hate trying to position this one correctly. Had it. Now he gets really mad and he starts vomiting fireballs and then he gets tired because he doesn't have enough cardio because he spends too much of his time eating that he basically has a mini heart attack and then that's where he shows his heart. Yep. He does have a lot in him though, I mean I'll give him that. Seems done. No, not at all. Holy crap, I feel like this is a lot- Okay, there we go. It's like, this is taking longer than usual. Why do I have hold up to take a block? And he's just on a banana. That was really A lot of bad things happen. How's this faster to do this one? Ba, 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 ba. I do not want to have a whole other tablecloth. Why? Is now it you never will again. Are you serious? He broke off in five lives. That's just. That's not cool. I need those. Sorry. Okay, here you go. Sorry, I just I really love that boss. Okay. Oh yeah. 
choice. I would not have removed those. Great job. Well done. When you're stuck in a boo, you basically just have to use this for the auto aim. Yeah. Okay, okay. Alright. Up, up. Up, up. up. Easy money. Fire. I would love that much money right now. That'd be wonderful. Yeah. It sure would. No first time at all. Mouse, just come up, get him, get him, get him! Oh yeah, boy! <laughs> nice shot, Doug. Where do we get the water element? This room. Okay, that's what I thought. I was just, oh, there is a blue ghost in that fridge. Yeah. <laughs> That pan is on me. It was clipping into me. I should have died. Yeah, you should have, but oh yeah. You know the first responsibility you have after you beat the dog, right? Mm -hmm. Water is playing. Yes. The water element. So let's use water. We know. Give me here. Oh, is there another one in here? We didn't get the first two. Oh. No, I'm not keeping track of this right now, apparently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mario! Tablecloth. He's at zero health. <laughs> 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 I was, I wasn't right. Oh. What the heck? He still got him though. He just would have been floating around with zero health. That's so. And he never would have caught him. That would have just been this, the joke on the game for you. Beautiful. Hello. I'd like to open the door. <laughs> Go. Gotta run, he's gonna play. I'm a multitasker. We're in a lounger. You probably should have let him get the bone. The bone comes out. Alright, here we go. We still have a few more ghosts to clear, but... Into your least favorite boss we go. Do you want to do it? Or do you want me to do it? You do it, I've, I've played it on. Okay. It's your turn. And I actually don't really like it that much. Either, oh, yeah. so sorry. That's what we said with Bowser the last time. Were we at 99? Yes. We were. 
I don't think one health is gonna make much difference, but Second boss, I call him Goop Dude. I don't really know what his name is. Bogmire. His name's Bogmire. Yeah. I think. I think you're right, that sounds right. background thing used in Super Smash Bros all the time too. I feel like I've seen it elsewhere in Nintendo. No way, Jose. I keep so You did that unreasonably quick. So for those of you that didn't get it, you suck up the gooby guys and then you shoot them at the purple gooby guy. Tell where he is because of the shadow and he is too. The small ones are hard. How did I miss? I was it looking straight at him. No, the worst is when you're trying to get the Mario star and you have to hit the moon. Yeah. Uh, the physics on that do not make any sense at all. Got the juice. Mm. You got it. I got it. Just laughing. <laughs> we did it. So that is floor two of Luigi's mm. Mansion, and that's how you beat the boss. So once yeah. we open that chest, uh, Egad's gonna give us a quick call, and we're done for the day. All right, guys, and now here we go. Egad's gonna get pumped again. Let's go, dude. have it and we're gonna total up our money here really quick. Oh man, that'd just be... Oh. Oh man. <laughs> if only this was real. We're already at 20 million, that's pretty good. Even Walton's ain't got nothing on us. Okay guys, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, next week we're gonna be doing, well no, Thursday we're gonna be doing level three. Uh, we are again holding a tournament on September 14th at 6 p.m. Uh, for Super Smash Bros. Melee and four for Wii U. If you wanna learn more about that, please feel free to visit our website at www.sksgames.com. But again, thank you guys and we'll see you Thursday. See ya.